Hey there. Hey, you there. I, um, I have a question for you. Go ahead. I'm listening. You were in the tap house before, when... You got your ass kicked by your wife's lover. Yeah. Pretty pathetic, right? Guy's sleeping with my wife, and I can't even do anything about it. Sounds like a tough situation. You don't know the half of it. But I'm not gonna just sit here and let Cook steal my wife and destroy my family. I'm going to go back and talk to him, and I want you to come with me. You saw? He won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him, I just want him to leave Darcy alone. You're going to have to make it worth my while. Uh, well, okay. I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. Let's go. You do the talking, I'll be the intimidating presence. All right. Come on. Swatters, right here. Let's go. Bash is in the Commonwealth. These synths just showed up. They're not doing it any wrong, so... We're just not sure what to do. Officer? I was on duty when I seen that airship fall out of the sky. I wonder if anyone survived. The Super Salon can give you the hairstyle of your dreams. Read about the man out of time. Paul! Wakes up Where are you going? Nowhere you need to worry about. Whatever. I'll see you at home. I wanted so much more from my life than this. Ugh. I'll meet you there then. Don't be late. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. We need to talk. Jesus, Paul. What now? It's time for you to shut up and listen, Cook. What the hell is this? And what are you doing here? Don't tell me he's hired you to help lean on me. That's right. You should listen to what Paul has to say. You're making a mistake getting mixed up in this. Well, I'm listening, Paul. What do you have to say this time? Just this. You leave Darcy alone, starting now, or else. Now that is a very bad idea. You don't want to pull a gun on me unless you intend to use it. But you think I won't use it? Huh? Do I just need to kill you? Is that what you're saying? Why don't you see if Cook is gonna listen? I get it, Paul. You've got every right to be pissed off at me, but we can work this out. Keep talking. I hope he makes it quick. Look, I, uh, I'll stay away from Darcy from now on. It's over. You have my word on that. Your word? What's your fucking word worth, huh? I'll make it up to you. I know a way to get a lot of money right now. You and I both know the only reason Darcy comes up here is she's pissed at you. If you were flush again, everything would be different. Besides, I owe you for what I've done. Well, what do you think? How are you gonna make us all rich, Cook? Gather round and I'll tell you. Here's the deal. I have some other, um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. Who's Nelson Latimer? Malcolm's kid. An arrogant little pissant. But useful, since he has all the money in the world and likes to think of himself as a budding crime boss. Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money, and the chems. I don't know. An awful lot of unknowns. Trust me, we can do this, no problem. The meeting's always in the same place. They always bring the same number of guys. They'll never know what hit them. Hold on. I have some questions first. Yeah? What is it? 
Why smuggle chems into Diamond City? Chems aren't illegal here. Sure, but Mayor McDonough takes a big cut of all the chems brought into town. Not everybody thinks that's good business. That's where me and Nelson come in. He fronts the cash, I make the arrangements. Cheap chems for Diamond City. Everybody wins. Anything else? What about afterwards? Won't everyone be after us? Come on. You know the answer. No witnesses. Anything else? That's it. Okay. So you're in then? My plan is simpler. We kill you now, and them later. This is... Wind up, beat. Fuck. <laughs> Thinking. Holy shit. Hey, Paul. Can't believe it. He's dead. Hell, I gotta get out of here. You should too, before someone walks in here and pins this on us. What is it? What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Things just got crazy. I can't believe he's actually dead. Hey, Paul. What is it? I found out about a chem deal Cook had set up. Wanna help me ambush it? Take everything for ourselves? Oh yeah, I'm in. It's about time my luck started turning around. <laughs> Good, I could use some backup for this. The meat is near the back street of Paro building. I know where that is. Let's go. This looks like it. That's Nelson Latimer talking to that ghoul. Why don't you work your way around these buildings to get a good angle on them? I'll wait for the shooting to start, and then join in from here. You first. I'll back you up. God damn it, really? Fine. But you better back me up, or this isn't gonna be much of an ambush. Don't move. Uh, you don't have to kill me. I won't talk. I swear. Give me a reason not to kill you. I'll tell Moroski it was gunners, okay? You can trust me. And uh, uh, I'll give up Moroski's chem lab. This here? <laughs> this is nothing compared to what he's got stashed there. Keep talking. Where do you think these kids come from? We got a land. Right here in the Commonwealth. But you'll never find it on your own. Not without my help. Tell me what you know first. Well, okay. I'm trusting you, right? <laughs> the land is in the old Forley fish packing plant on the waterfront in South Boston. Sounds like a dumb place for a secret chem lab. Oh, yeah. What about if the place is overrun by feral ghouls, which don't even look twice in my old ghoul crew? Pretty slick, but I assume that's not the end of it. You assume right. The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. So how do I get in without hitting all the tripwires? With a password, which I can give you. There's a terminal that will bypass the tripwires and open the door to the lab. So, I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you let me walk. And you promised to not tell Morowski that I had anything to do with this? Yeah, yeah, of course. I already told you. 
So it's just the two of us. 50-50 seems fair to me. 70-30 seems more like it. At least. Yeah, whatever. Screw me over one more time. Guess I should be used to it by now. You can deal with selling the chems then. Give me half of Nelson's money and I guess that's the best I can expect. That doesn't seem fair. Hey, I'm not hassling with the chems for a lousy 30% cut. You got what you wanted. Deal with it. 